subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to get notification about my new videos. upload and click on this link in the description this will lead you to the website digizani this is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for gta 5 online at reasonable prices don't forget once you're done shopping add the discount code eezy to save some money at the end of your checkout okay so getting back into the video uh, there's a few things you're going to need, but first of all, shout out to the founders. All their links will be down in the description for everybody who contributed to this money glitch, uh, especially NHJ, who is the original founder. Now, what you're going to need is a CEO garage. Any office will work. Um, you know, any CEO office will work. Any CEO garage should work. Now, you do need the mod shop. So it's just like before, you need the mod shop. We're going to be doing the no custom plates version. So for the no custom plates, you need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage and an RH8 stored inside of the MOC so that we can get the plates from it. And obviously, you need a Benny's vehicle to dupe. LG Retro Custom sells for the most. Uh, and the thing is, you need a special vehicle, but we're not going to the warehouse. You'll see what we're doing right here in this method, but you need to go over to one of these job circles right here. You see the special race series? This is right next to Arcadius. So what you want to do is go next to one of these job circles and then start looking for the Doomsday Heist job just like before, launch it alone. And right when it says populating lobby, you run into the job circle and then the populating lobby goes away. So this is how we get glitched out now. So if you open up your interaction menu, you see style is glitched out just like before. So that's the new way to glitch out your style in your menu, okay? So once I've done that, now I can go ahead and actually call up my MOC. And my MOC has an RH8 stored inside of it and I have it parked right outside because we're going to be doing the no custom plates version right now, okay? So at this moment, style is still grayed out. What you need to do now is go to your special vehicle menu and request one of your special vehicles. The Wastelander, the Technical Aqua, that's actually what I'm using. Don't fear, you won't see the personal vehicle icon on the map, okay? You have to look for it. So it might take you a little bit, but make sure you're looking around. It will spawn, but there's no PV icon on the map. So once you get your vehicle, take it to LSC and you want to go ahead and make one modification on it. Now, I don't have plate options on here, so I'm just going to change the truck horn, but what you can do is just change the plate color, okay? And that's fine. Now, when you drive it out, you just simply want to take this right back to your CEO garage, but don't drive it in, all right? Get out right before, and then you want to just run into the CEO garage and go into the garage that you have your, your Benny's dupe, you know, your LG Retro Custom that we're going to be trying to dupe here. So... I'm going into my office garage too, and I have my LG Retro Custom right here, plus a few RHAs in there to ride over if I need. So that's always a good thing, have a few RHAs in the same garage. I'm gonna press right D-pad to go into the mod shop. Now, once I've gone into the mod shop, I'm just gonna make one modification on the vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change the plate color just to make it nice and easy. So I'm gonna change it to this plate color right here below. And once I've done that, just back out of these menus, hit exit vehicle, and then go ahead and get right back in by pressing Y or triangle, and then just press right D-pad, okay? You're gonna press right D-pad, it's gonna glitch out, and we're gonna go back to the CEO garage. Now, once we go back, just like before, you're gonna have your dupes waiting for you there. Now, this is where a few people have complications, okay? Uh, getting these cars to spawn outside. Now, the method that I use on PlayStation, at least, and it works every time, and I even tested it on Xbox and it works, I go to a different office garage. So I'm going to go to office garage one, then I'm going to go back to office garage two, and then go exit to ground. And that seems to work. Okay, so you see I'm going to office garage one, and then I'm going to go back to the elevator and go back to the same office garage I was at before with the dupes, and then just leave to ground. Now, what some other people do, if you want to test that out, if this doesn't work for you, you can actually go ahead and hit exit to office, okay? Exit to office and press down on the D-pad a few times to open up the mini map. Okay, but as you can see, I just have to go into one office garage, then the other, and then I come outside and my dupe is waiting for me outside. So yeah, like I said, if that doesn't work, go to the office, press down on the D-pad a few times, and then hit exit to ground. See if you can get it to spawn there. If none of those work, Lester Heist text. That's the way. Okay, so now here is the dupe. I'm going to go ahead and drive it into my MOC, except the fuller. We're going to ride over that RH8 that was inside the MOC, and you're going to check this out right now. I'm going to drive out, you see the glitching plate, that will change it to a fresh generic plate, 
And if you look right now when I drive out, boom, XYN018. This is a fresh generic plate, clean. I'm gonna go ahead and drive it right back into the MOC to get a full save going. Once I have it fully saved, now you can go ahead and set up to do the glitch again. Okay, so once this is fully saved, now remember, drive it right back in again. Okay, that's how you save it because the game still thinks it's an RH8. So now the game knows it's an LG Retro Custom. It is fully saved. I'm going to go ahead and take it to my full CEO garage where I have those RH8s at, all right, where the other Benny's dupe is. And when I take it over there, Office Garage 2, I'm going to get the alert saying I need to transfer vehicles. That's okay. We're going to be setting up, excuse me, to do the glitch again. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it with a RH8, and now the RH8 is in the MOC, and I have my dupe right here. So the way that you would rinse and repeat is from here you would just go outside, and you would do the special vehicle trick again, you know, get the special vehicle, call it out, drive it over to the Los Santos Customs and change something on it, you know, and then continue with the glitch from there. But here's the problem. I open up my interaction menu and look, style isn't grayed out anymore. So if style isn't grayed out, you're not glitched anymore. You need to go back to that job circle and you need to get re-glitched out with the quick job method. Apparently, that's how this is happening now is it's a lot harder to rinse and repeat. I noticed I was testing some stuff. Going into other interiors usually unglitches the style now. It's not like before where it just stays glitched out no matter what you do. So the heist apartment unglitches the style. There's a lot of things that unglitch style, so it's harder to actually rinse and repeat this. So I'd say go ahead and test it out, but if, you know, if obviously if it's not grayed out anymore, you have to do this trick again with the special rate.